Lamar Jackson re-upping with the Ravens. I did think ultimately it would lead to that. <clears throat> Kudos mm-hmm. to Lamar for getting his money. But I, I want to say this from a broad perspective. Aaron Rodgers now a New York Jet as well. You have elite level AFC quarterback talent. And that was why it was important to get Kenny Pickett a year ago if you're the Steelers. What I want to see is, okay, you got Jalen Hurts in the NFC. How else is that void filled come an NFC standpoint? Because I don't want to rattle off all the quarterbacks in the AFC, Ike, but there is elite level, stud level talent when it comes to the quarterback position in the AFC. And the NFC, there seems to be a void. How that void is filled is something I'm going to be watching this season. A lot of Hall of Fame quarterbacks in the AFC, bro. Yeah. I mean, projection, projection wise, projection wise, you know, I mean, AR are already in the Hall of Fame. As soon as yep. he retired, bro, I don't put him up, put him in the but projection due to these guys stay healthy. Um, Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes, um, Justin Herbert. Uh, Kenny Pickett, Lamar Jackson. Uh, I mean, man, it's just – and that's 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 five. That's six right there. Josh I'm Allen, pro- too. I'll throw in, too. I, I'm sorry, Josh Allen. You're fine. Just projection. Just if – provided they stay healthy through the course of their career, just my opinion, that's six, that's six QBs. Now, the NFC, I'm talking about Hall of Famers. I'm just, I'm just speculating. I mean, the NFC, what, what we're really looking at in the NFC. Um, if Jalen keep doing what he's doing, providing he stay healthy, providing he stay healthy. But other than that, who you really like at that quarter? I mean, Russ, Russell Wilson, he down in he, – he got he got the quarterback whisper as a head coach now in Sean Payton. So that's seven. So that's what I'm saying. If you're in the AFC, uh, your level of play – Got to be Pro Bowl caliber at that at that quarterback position every Sunday because it's so deep with quarterbacks who are good in the AFC. The NFC, I mean, where you want to go with the NFC? We really like like that at the quarterbacks at the Hall of Fame level. I'm not talking about all pro, Pro Bowl. I'm just talking about projection-wise mm-hmm. as an NFC quarterback. Um, the AFC just loaded. And I, I we we talked about this on the show. A lot of careers, a lot of Super Bowls are going to get cut short because how deep the AFC at quarterback position is with talent. With talent. With talent. I can't help but wonder, too, Ike, if you're a quarterback that doesn't quite get it done in the AFC, say, this season and next, or a head coach, how there could be opportunity for an NFC team to take oh, advantage to we forgot a quarterback or a head coach. Go ahead, Ike. We forgot Sunshine down in Jacksonville. Yeah, I mean, you're 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 proving my point. I you're adding gasoline to the fire. Mark, the AFC deep, deep, deep with young, young quarterbacks, young good quarterbacks. So they we well, we we seven to eight deep. We just named like eight, and I think all of eight other than Russ and Kenny hit the playoffs. Everybody we just mentioned hit the playoffs. Yeah, it's on the up and up.